Hello, welcome to part two about a data editor issuing indirect orders or orders from other units. Uh, this is, of course, using my uh, Ion Kenamore's map as an example, which you can find uh, information on, videos on, here on YouTube, on my channel, or you can also get a hold of the actual map from sc2mapster.com. Uh, please make sure you've watched part one before you watch part two. So this is this is what actually gives the order to our ion cannon unit. So our search area goes out and finds the our our our, our ion cannon. Yeah. Our ion cannon. And once it's found it, it's going to issue this fire order at the unit that we targeted. And this will actually have the fire ion, ion cannon fire at it. Okay? Once that's done, because that's just a bit, it only happens once. But it's important that once you do something like this, Ion Cannon attack hidden or do an attack command, it's going to be constant. So unless you stop it, it's going to keep attacking. Very important. Really quick, I want to show you the ability for the Ion Cannon, the actual attack. Right here, Ion Attack Hidden. It's just a standard attack ability type. The only difference here is I have scan filters which are pretty much the same as any other. Um, nothing horribly special about it. The big important thing to note is that on the actual unit, on actual ion cannon, it is in the abilities here, as you can see, as well as stop. We have attack, hidden, and stop. Put both of those in there to the unit that you want to be able to attack. But if you don't want them to be able to, to attack by themselves, in other words, you have to use something like the ghost's ability that we're creating in order to attack it, all you have to do is not put it in the command card. That's it. If you do that, they can't attack. It, it seems to work just fine. Uh, I haven't seen a problem with it. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. If there is, please let me know. Otherwise, it looks like it works fine. Uh, if you're worried about auto-attacking, very easy to fix that as well. Go down to combat here. Change default acquire level from offensive or defensive, whichever it's set for and change it to either passive or none. I would suggest passive. Passive seems to work best. And that will stop the ion cannon from firing. Okay. Remember that this has a long range, so if you want it to be able to fire to any location in the map, you're also going to need to change the weapon for your ion cannon's uh, type or whatever weapon you're using to change its range to 500 for the entire map. So you it makes sure it can actually fire that far. Okay. So, with that in mind, so that's the actual fire effect. Now, we had two other effects that happen with our ability. One, when the full 10 seconds expires, we have this ghost fire iron cannon end. This effect simply is a remove behavior. And it just simply removes the actual uh, target effect from the unit. So if it's still alive, it's still there or whatever, it's going to actually remove that. It's actually going to, to remove the, the uh, behavior. The most important thing um, to get it, make sure that our ion cannon only fires once, because we want it to only fire once, is this right here under final. Final only fire, f final happens when the effect is, uh, the behavior, sorry, behavior is removed as you can see right here when when the behavior is actually removed from a unit whether it's killed whether you remove it manually whether the units removed whatever this this effect will fire same with initial initials when the behavior is applied or put onto the unit when it's created trained or whatever so we have this ghost fire and cannon get ion cannon stop and much like the attack what this is going to do is it's going to f do a search area of our ion cannon exactly like attack the only difference here is, is instead of sending our uh, attack order, we're going to send a stop effect, which is going to send a stop order to the unit. And this is just going to have it make it stop firing. This is great because if you have to, to make this work as a channeling ability, and you got the ghost there sitting there, if we didn't do this, it would it would it would go through. And like I said, it, once you have it start attacking, it'll continue attacking until the unit's dead, since we have it has a huge range, or or and, 
or something. So we have to send a stop command because we only want this to fire once. That's really the gist of it. I know it's a lot to take in, and it seems like a roundabout way of doing it. You could probably switch and do a few diff things different instead of using a behavior. I found using a behavior works great because it actually puts it on the target, and that way I can reference the target that I want the, fire, the ion cannon to fire at. And it seemed to work pretty well uh, for what I wanted to do, and it works really, really great. It really does. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you that really quick, if I can. Hopefully I've got enough time here before we run out of uh, time for this part. I'm going to show it to you really quick. Play around with it. Issue orders are pretty cool. Um, very interesting stuff how it works. If you're going to do it for different types of units and things like that, unless you actually want to target a unit that you want to send the order to, you're going to need to do some sort of search order uh, to do this. So as you can see our ion cannon here is, you know, unpowered, so we got to get some power. Uh, so I'm going to do this real quick. So, you know, unless you actually want to target the, the unit that you want to issue the order to, you can't use issue order directly. You're going to have to do some sort of search area or something of that nature to actually send the order to them. So we have power, now we just got to wait for this to charge. Actually, it looks like it does work. I might have to fix that. It's not firing because it doesn't have enough energy. That's something I might want to... No, it's not firing. Good, good. See, as you can see, it's not working. It has enough energy to fire, but it won't fire because it doesn't have the uh, command. Oh, shit. Yes, it did. Crap. Well, that's something to fix. <laughs> uh, basically, it's probably under a smart filter or something. But uh, I'll figure it out. It's debugging. It's always fun. Uh, it's probably under... In fact, we'll probably just go over that in part three. That might be a good idea. So he has enough energy now. We'll go ahead and actually direct. So I have this little ability. It's going right now. It's channeling. I can't move him. And boom. There it is. And now he's free. And there it is. Very simple order to actually uh, issue a command to another unit. That looks so much cooler with a nuke. Um, things like that. Obviously, we need to fix a few things. But as you can see, it works and it works well. Keep an eye on the energy here. So we do have a problem as you saw if we just click on the ion cannon and right click on a unit that's nearby it looks like it will attack it. In fact you can probably do a force attack. Well it doesn't look like you can do a force attack on your friendlies but it looks like you can on the enemy. Um, so I, basically I need to fix that. I need to tweak that. It's basically just a smart filter target the power here. Kaboom! Ah, gotta love nukes. So, you get the idea. Like I said, we did have an issue there. My guess is, is it probably has something to do with the actual unit or the actual weapon. So we'll take a look at the uh, ion cannon here. Uh, choir level is passive. Maybe it is the actual order, though. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I'm actually very curious about this, because that is a problem, obviously. And it's something we want to fix. Maybe if we change it to restricted, it won't let me do that. Don't know if that'll work. I know suppressed isn't going to work at all. Because if you put in suppressed, you can't fire even if you send an issue order. It won't work. So restricted might work better. Um, not sure. There are some other things to check. Let's check the weapon itself. Weapons itself. Uh... I don't think we can find it here. Some weird stuff. That is an issue, though, and I, there probably is ways around it. 
but what a pain. Well, we could probably do some extra stuff actually disabling the ability or something. I don't know when you select it. It's a, something to think about anyway. But let's see if just changing that to restricted might help. Uh, so we'll see you in part three.